Hello and welcome back to another exciting episode of Two Can Plays and welcome to another toy hunt. Today we are at Walmart, my local Walmart, which happens to be the most convenient and happens to be the one that never ever restocks their shelves. Oops, I dropped that uh, that Gravedigger classic there. You can see, I mean, they still have the Series 7 of the minis. They actually did have the Megalodon Fire 2-pack with the NASCAR and they also had the uh, Dragonoid, Bakugan Dragonoid 2-pack as well. Oops, I dropped that one too. And I actually, you know, more on these guys later. I actually did pick those up. But the big prize, I, they managed to have the Nitro Neon. I found these kind of over with the Hot Wheels, as you can see. It was both of them, both two packs, and it happened to be the last ones that were left. I think somebody came in, saw them, and then hid them amongst the Hot Wheels two packs. But here they are. I snatched them up as soon as I possibly could. I got them before the scalpers could get them. Brought them home. Here they are in all their glory. And Joseph helped me unwrap them, unbox them today. Thank you, Joseph, for helping me out, even though he struggled mightily with the packaging. They were glued on extra, extra tight, I guess, today. <laughs> come on, Joseph, you can do it. I know you can. Open that box. Come on, come on. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, that Walmart happens to be the one that is uh, most convenient for me to get to. It's on my way to and from work. And so I stop there frequently and they never have anything in stock. It's always old stuff, but they happen to have the new Nitro Neon stuff. I'm so excited. So let's take a look here at Zombie. And here is Zombie. Joseph wrenched his arms all the way back. <laughs> but you can see the, you know, the coloration is still a little slightly darker, a little bit more purple. We've got the same kind of blue and white striped clothes on it. We do have the Nitro, which is kind of hot pink or neon pink for the chassis and then black roll cage and then it's got the blue headers on it which is really sweet i like the blue headers this is probably my favorite of the whole series the bakugan neon it's got that neon green body neon green tires which match up fairly well fairly well and it's got that same kind of neon hot pink for the rims the real wheel wells joseph was enthralled by the fact that the horn and the arm still moved around Kind of a, a purplish roll cage, white chassis. And then it doesn't quite match up. That purple color doesn't quite match up with the purple of the the wings, you know, the membrane between the wings there. But it still looks pretty sharp. It, oh, I'm telling you, this is one of my favorite uh, Bakugan Dragonoids of all time, really. And Joseph's still playing with it. All right, next Nitro Neon pack. Let's see if Joseph can get this sucker open a little bit faster than the last one. The opposite, of a clean <laughs> opposite of a clean chair, he says. Yeah, no, he didn't didn't get that one open very quickly. <laughs> Had to stick his finger in there and get it open. This two pack also has uh, the Grave Digger Nitro, which I really really like. And there goes Earthshaker. <laughs> All right, come on, let's get Grave Digger out of the package. There we go. God, Grave Digger. So this is Nitro. So the Nitros all have the same, the black uh, roll cage, the, the neon pink chassis, the blue headers, kind of like that, uh, the neon green wheel well, purple bead locks, but the big star of the show is that Grave Digger body. I really, really like the blue flames. Turn it around there, Joseph. The blue flames, the blue, the neon blue Grave Digger outline and the, the neon blue for the graveyard and kind of like the hot pink outline on the flames there as well. Really, really sharp. I like this one a lot. Yeah, that kind of that, that hot pink goes into the, the smoke and the ghost on the ghost there coming out of the graveyard. All right, moving on to Neon Earthshaker, probably my least favorite of the batch, but it's still, it's a good truck. Uh, the body itself is almost like an inverse, so we've got orange on the top, yellow on the bottom, and then the lettering is in orange. Not too bad. I don't mind the body so much, but man, that hot pink dirt with the blue bed is just such an eyesore. And of course, it's got the standard neon chassis uh, tire combo with the white chassis purple roll cage with the white BKT printing on the neon green tires. I really like the, the neon setup. It's a good combo. It looks nice. All right, so this was a lot of fun. I tell you what this reminded me of. When I was a kid, I was really, really, really into Ninja Turtles. That was like my favorite thing in the world. 
And I used to watch like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles TV show, and I used to play like the video games. And then when I went to the store and I picked up a Ninja Turtle action figure and got home and played with it, that was just like the coolest thing ever. So I've been playing with these neon nitro trucks in BeamNG, and so to go to the store and see the trucks that I've been playing with on the game in real life and being able to bring them home and play with them, it just brought back my childhood memories. Anyway, that is gonna do it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Check out the video that you see on your screen right now. And hey, we'll see you guys on the flip side later.